Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I'm gonna be making a beat for my all time favorite rapper Naz. He just dropped his new album, King's Disease 3, with Hit Boy, and it's sick. The guy's 49 years old and he's still killing it. It's crazy. I'm dropping my soulful album, Timeless, soon too, so it's like perfect timing to make something like this. He even spits over a bit of a drill beat at the end of the track, Reminisce, and I just never thought I'd see the day. So the plan is, I'm gonna make a sample, then I'll flip it to get more of a vintage feel, and then who knows, I might even add a drill section at the end if it works right. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so to start with, I'm going to use a piano, and I'll go with a different one this time. I'm going to use the Maverick in contact. I think it gives us a nice, like, vintage tone. And then we're just going to build some kind of progression. We'll just see what sounds right. Could just copy that over. And then maybe we could come up. I might just add something to this last one. And now we can just strum some of the chords. We want it to be as natural as possible. To get that feeling, we could just bring some back. I'm just holding Alt and clicking. With the C sharp, I'm going out of the scale a bit, but it still works, especially with these end chords. It adds a bit of tension, then it gets resolved, so don't stress about it. Okay, and then for the top line, I'm just going to try and record something in. And then like here, I can just double up some notes. Just to give us a bit of a different feel. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Okay, next up, of course, there's gonna be some strings. So we're gonna go for something like this symphony series. This has a really full sound. So I'm gonna take the top line from the piano and actually paste it into the violin. Maybe simplify this one. Sounds hard. Just gonna turn the piano up a bit and bring the strings down. Okay, now I'm just taking the keys and I'm copying them into this preset called Whirly Jazz. This is just in Analog Lab. Gives it a nice bottom layer. All right, next we definitely need some vocals in this, so I'm just gonna see what I can find. All right, so I found some vocals from Splice, so I'm just gonna fit it to the tempo for the BPMs 90. Let's hear how it sounds. Oh, oh. So I definitely wanna keep that bit. So I've just filtered them a bit with RC20, and then I'm adding a plate reverb. These just need to be like background vocals. Then in this section, I'm just gonna chop it a bit. I don't need to flip it too much cause I'm gonna end up flipping this sample anyway. So like this. All right, let's add a little Glock in there as well. So I like the sound of that. All right, I don't want to add too much to this because I'm going to flip it anyway, but I'm going to send everything to its own insert. Then it basically groups the instruments and then I'm just going to add some RC20. Yeah, usually add the same preset. Then I'm just adding some plate reverb underneath. Maybe I could try and record a bass in. Okay, so some notes were a bit off there, but I can fix those. Okay, cool. So that's all I'm going to add to the melody. I'm just going to give it a quick arrangement because I might want to chop some parts without the strings. So like in here, let's take those out. Even the vocals. 
They actually sound kind of fire in there. And then I'll do one more part without the vocals. All right, so now I'm gonna render this and we can flip it. Okay, so I've rendered out the loop and the first thing I wanna do is just speed it up a bit to about 90 BPM. So let's just bring that back to about here. Yeah, that sounds hard there. Now I'm gonna render this out again just because it's got a new pitch when I've stretched it. So now what I'm gonna do is open FPC. So I've just opened the sample in Edison and then I'm gonna take some chops that I like. Like this one. Take that too. I like that one. That one there. So I'm just taking these little micro chops and I can take these small piano sections. All right, so now I've got all these sections in the pad and then I usually have each pad set to cut by one and then cut one. That's just gonna stop them overlapping. So I've got the chops that one and usually I just add some kind of drum break to get the right groove and then I'm just gonna try and record a chop in. Pitching that up to two semitones. I think I prefer it there. And then from here we can just add our own drums in. Okay, for the hat, I'm gonna go with this collide one. I'm just gonna fill each two step, but I'm gonna change the velocity and the position of a lot of them. Just so it's not robotic. Maybe change a couple. All right, for the open hat, we'll go for this one. But I'm gonna mute a hi-hat every time one plays. And I just want a clean kick something like this or that one. I think this one's a bit punchier. And the kick's just gonna be really simple. It's just gonna be that repeating, but I'm gonna make it a bit more natural. And then have a kick here instead of the snare. Let's try that. Simple pattern, but it just keeps your head nodding. And then I always like to add some kind of ride in this beat, like this one. Okay, and we'll get my favorite crash on the pack. And before I add anything else, it definitely needs some low end. Because when I pitched up the sample, the guitar was a bit too high. And I've also cut it out like I would do with a real sample. So yeah, I can just get this deep one here. All right, so the sub sounding all right now. I'm thinking it just needs some kind of drum fill at the end of an eight bar. All right, so I found this fill here. So let's see what this sounds like. Feeling that one. All right, so this section sounded sick. I just need to figure out something else for the switch up. Yeah, so I need some sections down here without the strings. So yeah, that sounded sick. And then I just need to make sure the eight weight matches. All right, let's just hear the transition. Yeah, I think that sounds hard. All right, so I need to do a quick structure. What I'm gonna do is leave a little bit of the original sample. And if you've seen me make these type of beats before, you'll know I love adding Fruity Love Filter. So this can just be for the intro. Let's see what the drop sounded like. So I've just added a little break in the drums, I've copied it over, and then this can be a full pattern here. Ok, 
Okay, so the structure's pretty much done. I don't know how it's gonna sound, but I wanna see if I can add a drill section to the end. So I'm gonna automate the BPM, and then in this section, it's gonna go up. Okay, so now it can transition like this. So we've just got half time on the sample. I'll have a bit of a bridge here, and then maybe a drill section here. So I'm gonna put a Fetrix on, see how this sounds. This could sound hard, you know. All right, so the drill section is going to sound interesting. I'm basing this off the Reminisce track, so I don't want any like crazy dark UK stuff. I want it quite light. Something like this one. And then we'll grab a MIDI from the Hazy Hi-Hat MIDI kit. Yeah, this one sounds hard. And then something like this Brutal Snare. It's a bit different. Alright, let's hear this. Bring it down. I just want one count and then it's a little bit higher. And some middle ones. Sounding kind of hard. I'm not gonna go crazy with this drill section, just a couple perks. Maybe just some, just some kind of perk here after something like this. All right, this drill section is actually sounding hard, but I'm gonna leave it at that. So we'll have a listen from the beginning. Okay, so for the intro, we're just starting off with. The sample that I made, but it's filtered. It's like an intro I use for a lot of my boom bap beats. And then straight into the hook. So this is the first chop of the sample. Kinda of simple drums, but I like the bounce. So a little switch up, just with the second shot. In this one, I just took the ride out, just to save a bit of energy. Another break. So even though it's simple, you just make those little cuts to keep it interesting. But this part's where it really gets interesting. So we've just transitioned to the sample again, but this time it's half timed. And you can see the BPM's gone up to 142. Like you wouldn't expect it these type of beats. And then yeah, just back to like the intro, just as another bridge. And then it can just keep alternating like that. 